And here we are on the Pound Aussie. It's a trade that I've just got in live. I've actually just bought the market and I want to talk you through why I've actually done this. Um, so if I zoom out here, I'm just going to, I'm not going to do the higher time frame analysis just yet. But you can see here that what we've done is we've actually put in, in fact, let me remove the orders. There go, we've actually put in a triangle. And what we've just done is we've broken to the upside We've seen a very small retracement here. Um, just in my last video, I sold this. We went up 37 pips and moved to break even and then uh, was stopped out. But what we've then done is we put in a higher, high, higher close candle. And so I'm now looking at the breakout <coughs> continuing higher. Now, why though have I bought on the lower time frame? Well, if we go to the five range, what we've done here is we uh, had our move higher like this then we pulled back and at this point i moved to break even when we came into this little uh, double top here that's when i sold the market in the last video and instantly we rallied straight up there so there's a lot of buying pressure going on here and what we saw then is we um, saw a retracement and then we, we've now come into the one, uh, 180, 100 even handled number. We'd actually gone over sold at 16. And if we just go back to the 60 minute time frame, just looking at the candlestick formations here, like I said to you, we have just broken out of this breakout pattern. Uh, we've been very bullish other than this very minor retracement and this last candle is what sticks out for me so we broke out this small retracement and then we've had a big bullish candle and this red candle that we're seeing at the moment forming on the hourly is just a small retracement i believe before we can see the continuation higher i think that's what's going to happen in the next 35 minutes we'll see that rally up uh, off that even handled number and where could targets potentially be well we can look at targets on this bigger pattern here. We can look at the 127 extension, which just so happens to come in at the 182 flat. So if I move that structure level up to that point, and then we zoom out to the 240, and we have a look, is the structure coming in at that zone as well? And wouldn't you know it, there is. And look at the structure level we have here. Okay, decent structure level, um, even handled number, the 127 coming in at that zone as well. It's not a bad place at all to look for targets. So if I go back to the five range and just bring, bring the targets back on, then what I've done here is I have, uh, first of all, gone for um, a retest up here on the five range so that I can bank some money and move to break even. And what I've just done is I've got quite tight stops here. I've gone uh, to the uh, 15 pips underneath that even handled number just to give myself a little bit of breathing room. And again, being more aggressive here because we um, are very, very bullish and we're in the breakout. And we've come into the even handled number where we've gone overbought and so that would be our risk our reward on this particular trade is going to be up there but the main pips are going to be in uh, in secondary targets if we can get them all the way up here this is the pound Aussie so it certainly is a mover I front run that to, to secondary targets by five pips And so there we go. So in terms of risk, 20, 22 to target ones, and 90 to secondary targets, and we'll, we'll see if we can get them. And uh, just um, doing another recording here within 20 seconds, <laughs> uh, we've rallied up here and hit targets, uh, target ones, so I'm just going to go ahead here. We have a couple of pips past, past break even and see if we can uh, hold for second targets. Okay, I've just resumed the video again. Um, I think it's been 20 seconds and uh, we're seeing here on the range quite a lot of movement. I'm just going to go to the 60 minutes. 
just so that we can see this. Uh, and here you go, you can see that we're spiking up. Uh, again, th this was expected to be honest with you because this is the breakout as I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, so this was very much expected. So what we've done now is we've made this high retracement high we're seeing a retracement would be nice to see this continue at this point onto targets I'll pause the video and come back just resume the video currently up 60 still trending upwards got a six minutes to go until the hourly candle closes uh, if we continue up high here we'll have a very very bullish candle at pound yen is a trade I'm also in and it's looking like um, that's going to close quite strongly as well so uh, let's hope that we can do in the next six minutes and we're back uh, within a few seconds we have non-farm employment out so just on this trade in fact we can see that it's out now I thought it would be good to record it I'm um, actually in quite a few trades, um, but this is the one I'm going to record. I'm hoping we're just going to uh, spike up there and hit targets. See, so we've just had a, a loser there on one of my trades. Pound Oz is looking good. 77 pips up currently. We need to get up to, I think it's 91 there. 83 now on this trade. 82 don't usually see a huge reaction anymore from um, the non farms but um, I did want to make sure just that my stops were in uh, the right places and where appropriate like I have done here on the pound Aussie I was able to move to break even so we've made a new high here on the uh, five range 83 pips up now a little bit volatile I'm also in a pound yen trade it's currently doing well heading in the right direction 125 pips up go on pound Aussie 90 we've hit targets now fantastic targets hit for 91 pips